Before I get going here, I want to remind everyone that electronic gift cards are a great last minute way to uh, gift somebody that are, it's very convenient and it's very easy to do. So for example, if you were to buy a Monet gift card, um, it would give somebody the ability to purchase uh, 24 karat gold uh, jewelry or gift items like this. And um, you don't have to get a gift card that covers the entire cost of the item. Sometimes maybe somebody has been looking at a piece that they've been wanting and adoring from afar for a long time and they're just looking for a reason or an excuse to buy it. And, um, you know, if I received a gift card from somebody from a place that I wanted to buy something from, um, I would be super happy, even if it didn't cover the whole entire item, because I would think, wow, I can now buy that with a massive discount. And that might just be just what I needed to buy it. And then I'd be so thankful for that person that gifted me that. So um, I, I love getting Monet gift cards. I really hope somebody gets me one this Christmas and one of my family members does. And if I do, I will certainly share what I end up buying with it. And the other thing you have to think if you um, get somebody a gift card that collects precious metals or buys precious metals on a regular basis, you may be giving them the ability to buy precious metals under spot price, which is like the holy grail for uh, precious metal stockers, stackers, it's not stockers. I don't know what the holy grail for precious metal stockers are. Um, but it gives them the ability to buy um, the precious metal under the spot price, which means that you could be buying gold for less than the gold is actually worth. And um, uh, that's pretty amazing and a pretty good opportunity for somebody. Or you could just go ham and buy somebody a huge a uh, gift card, and uh, if that person was really important to you, that would be a very meaningful gift. Um, but, and just the gift card process itself is very easy. You just get, receive a gift code, you receive a code, and you just gift it to the person, and then they can use it however they want to. Um, but the other thing I really wanted to talk about today was um, I've uh, found three ways to um, store my Toten Pass. And I know we're taking like a big right turn here, but I think that. Um, Toten Pass is a really cool product. I've talked about it a lot. Some of you know what that is, some of you don't, but it's basically a solid gold and nickel storage device that you can put anything you want on it. And um, for those of you that have uh, got them, you know what I'm talking about. And if you haven't got one yet, uh, at some point you might, and then you can watch this video. So these are the medium-sized Toten Pass. Uh, I put them in these credit card sleeves. And once again, I'm going to give a shout out to Apatox, another YouTuber who uh, gave me a lot of these ideas as far as storage. Um, so the medium ones I put in these credit cards, they, they really just stack nicely. Um, and uh, for all the totem passes I have, I now have them in a very organized way. So I would say that these offer um, uh, pretty good protection as far as, you know, no scratching or anything uh, of the image that you have on there. Uh, and they're very easy and convenient to carry. Um, this other option would be this uh, half inch thick uh, card holder. It's kind of like a baseball card holder. And this is a very nice uh, display. Like I could see this being put on um, a desk or something and displaying your toad and pass uh, in a very nice way or present it as a gift. And then the third option, this, I just got this one. This is a, it's kind of like a standalone uh, case. So you could, um, you know, display this and this fits the medium totem pass. So, uh, that's just another way to show it. And, um, for the, the medium size in addition to the credit card holder. So those are, uh, three options. And, you know, because the lighting's so poor in here, I, I kind of use this flashlight a little bit just to, to show you how cool these things are. Um, but really the best way to see, uh, these are on my Instagram at gold matters underscore. Cause you can see the, uh, just how they look outside and stuff and in the sunlight instead of me having to do it this weird way with the flashlight inside like some sort of weirdo. Uh, but I just wanted to tell everyone about those options and uh, you know, I'm certainly willing to talk to people about uh, how I got those um, holders. I just got them on Amazon. So if anyone needs a specific link, I can send that as well. And uh, I hope that's helpful and I hope everyone uh, gets a toad and pass and just tries it out because they're pretty awesome. So um, I'm not sure if I'm going to make a video tomorrow or not. It's Christmas Eve, but I'll do my best. And if not, I will talk to you guys soon.